Hey everyone, so you joined me at the front end of the R56. So we've got a bit of a transformation that's gonna happen over the coming weeks. So what I wanted to do is just talk you through the plans. So first of all, we've got an unboxing of a Leap Bonnet Scoop to go at the top there. Then I've also got a super rare part um, in terms of the grills down the bottom that I'm gonna talk you through at the end of the video as well and some of my plans around the chrome and things like that. So keep tuned right to the end so you can see that super rare part and how I managed to get hold of one. So let's jump straight into that unboxing of the Leap Scoop and then we'll go from there. Hey everyone, so we're going to be opening up the uh, my parcel today which is going to be a Leap Scoop. So it's the bonnet scoop for the R56. It's the Lambada 2, um, so it's slightly rounder. So there's two different ones you can get and I'll put a photo up on the screen now. There's the Lambda 1 which is uh, got a square opening. It's slightly larger, but the opening square, and I wasn't a fan of that as much. So I had that on my old Clubman. This is the Lambda 2. So they've redesigned it and made it a slight, slightly smaller, but rounder shape. So I think it works better with the shape of the Mini because obviously everything's rounder. There's no real square edges on that front end. So let's get this open. So it's from Orange Performance. So it's something I bought from them. I mean, there's a nice little Leap logo. You get Leap stickers in there. Orange Performance, it wouldn't be an Orange Performance delivery if it didn't have Harry Boat. Let's put those to the side. Open that box up and it's really nicely packaged. It's in a nice bit of styrofoam that so fits in. And we can take that out of the box. So let me just shift that box out of the way for a second. So. We've got the scoop, you can see there, it'll allow air into the engine bay for a bit of cooling. Plus, if you look at the profile on it, there's a nice little bit of a lip. Um, so it's just a little bit more aggressive on the front end. And one thing I would say in terms of the quality of this, so this is straight out the box. I've not done any prep to it painting. Look at the bottom of that. So for anyone that's seen any of the other aftermarket scoops that you can get, they are really messy under here and, and, and I'm not going to mention any brands or anything like that because I'm not all about brand bashing. I'll just give my honest opinion on the stuff that I've got in front of me. And this is definitely the best quality scoop in terms of fit and finish out the box. It doesn't look like there's going to be much need for body work, maybe a little bit of a, a sand before paint because it, it does come in primer. Um, so really impressed with the quality of it. You can see there's one single fixing, which is a little bit different to some of the scoops I've seen. Um, but what we'll do is when we try it on the car, I'm sure that'll be an absolutely solid fixing. But from initial impressions, that's really good quality product. There's not lots to cover off in terms of it. It's a scoop. I'm putting it on because it looks more aggressive. And eventually if I go for like an AEM intake, for example, or use the air feed from this. So obviously the larger the gap, the more air that we can get in there. So can't wait to test that on the car um, and show you a bit of a test fit in primer before I get it painted. So what I'll do is we'll go out to the car now and throw it on because it's nice and easy because my car doesn't have a bonnet scoop at the moment. So let's go have a look. Okay, so you can see from the front of my car, I've got no bonnet scoop at the moment. So the previous owner had, I think an aftermarket one or a, a, a slightly damaged stock one and he went flying off on the motorway at speed so when I brought the car it had nothing on so we're gonna just test fit this uh, bonnet scoop now obviously it needs to be painted now for me it's an easy process for you it would be there's a bolt underneath here that you would need to undo and then just use a plastic prying tool just to pull that bonnet scoop off because these are just poppable clips that are designed to break um, before any of the, the bonnet scoop or the plastics do. So, so yeah, so you go around and pry that off and it's a really simple process to get the stock scoop removed. So what we'll do, we'll open the bonnet now, we'll test fit it on it. Actually, I don't think we need to because I think I can just press it in. Let's give it a go. Right, so I'm gonna remove, there's a bolt and a washer on the back that you'll need to actually fix it permanently onto the car. But for now, I'm just test fitting. And it's as simple as that. So I would then just go underneath and do the bolt up to hold that in place. But you can see 
that fits perfectly and works really well with the lines of the car. I'm really happy with the fit actually. It's a good fit down there, good fit across the top. Tell you what, I think that is probably the best fit out the box I've seen of all the bonnet scoops that I've had over the years. Um, other than I think probably the Venturi one. But again, you're paying, I think it was 1,500 quid, 1,400 quid, something like that, for the Eventuri F56 scoop. And that obviously comes with all the intake and everything. This is obviously a fraction of the cost. And the, the fit and finish on this one, I'd say is up there with that. Other than this isn't a finished article because it's not painted and it's not carbon fiber. But no, really pleased with that. And I think that'll help transform the front end of the car. What I'll do as well, because we're talking front ends in this video as well, let me go and grab the uh, the super rare bit that I've managed to pick up that people told me I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to find. Well, I've got one. Okay, so when we look at that front end of the car, obviously we've got the bonnet scoop, so that's going to make it more aggressive. I think we definitely need to take all this chrome trim off, so that will be coming off in the next week or so. So I'll do be doing some videos how to remove those separately on the channel to the vlog but what you can see is we've got that grill section down the bottom and for those that know their minis there's two versions of that grill one is that flat grill the second is a set of brake ducts that actually provide cooling to the brakes on the r56 now mini have actually discontinued that piece uh, i know there's a couple of companies um, out there that potentially will be looking at making aftermarket ones which would be interesting to see I wanted to try and get hold of the factory OEM brake ducts and I was told it would be near on impossible because many have stopped making them. So after a lot of searching over the last couple of weeks, no one had any brand new ones in stock. So I had to look at used and they, they get snapped up as soon as they come up. But I managed to find one, so I'm really pleased. So let's bring it in and show you um, what I'm talking about in terms of the brake ducts. Let's bring that bumper in and I'll take you in a bit closer. So you can actually see we've got a brake duct section here with a slightly shorter grill so that we've got air feeding in. So if we, we zoom back now, we'll be able to see it just adds a little bit more of shape and I suppose aggression to the front end to match the big scoop on the bonnet. Actually, we've now got air scoops for brake cooling and you can see on the back of it, there are little ducts to feed that cold air through to the back of the discs and I'm sure there's something we can do to make that even more efficient because they don't look the longest and I'm not quite sure how they reach right to the back of the discs and brakes but we'll take a look at that and see what we can do but no really happy with that find so I am going to remove it from that bumper and actually put that JCW bumper back up for sale because I've got no need because obviously I've already got one on the car and it'll slot straight on and that's for a pre-LCI, so LCI is sort of like the facelift car and they still make those brake ducts from Mini from what I understand and they're easy to get hold of but because mine's a pre-LCI front bumper it's uh, a lot more difficult to get hold of because Mini have discontinued them. So I think the front end transformation is going to be really good so we've obviously got the brake ducts, definitely going to paint I think colour code uh, the headlight rings, front grille surround, I'm thinking maybe black on that, and bonnet scoop, I'm unsure whether to go body coloured or black. But we can also see we've got the chrome belt line, that's definitely going to be going black as well. I'm just waiting for some rear quarters and just trying to find those, because the belt line trim's a bit damaged up there. But once I've done that, I'll then black all that out. So that was a bit of a walkthrough of my plans of the front end just to get it looking a bit more aggressive and a bit more me so getting rid of that chrome. Hopefully you found the video interesting. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe so you get updates on uh, future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.